Previously on Banjo Tooie. My god, will you leave me alone and get a wife? <laughs> but yes, as you can see, the uh, Ice Brother is here. Not happy that we're trespassing, and he's probably even less happy due to the fact that we scared his brother away. So we'll have to find a way to take care of him in time. First though, let's uh, explore the area a little bit. That's just an exit, so don't need to go that way. But yeah, those poor aliens. They haven't had a lot of luck on this planet. <laughs> Well, again, sucks to be them. Not to be completely harsh and uh, disrespectful, but they really should have had a better uh, jetpack initiation sequence. Didn't seem like that one was going to work in time. Also, here's a little trick about the notes. Each section of uh, Hailfire Peaks, uh, the fire side and the ice side, has 40 notes all together, so... You can use that to identify what you still need to get in both areas. Oh, who do we have up here? I'm Biggerfoot. I have an enormous foot. That's nice. Yes it is, isn't it? And if you try to steal my shoes, you'll be seeing it close up. But those shoes won't even fit you. I don't care. You're not having them. My god, that's a huge foot. Oh! Ooh! My poor enormous foot! Where's the first aid kit? Not cool, bro. The foot is a very sacred part of a man's body. You don't want to drop a rock on it. That's just cruel. Also, there's wind. Watch out for wind. Uh, I need to look for the uh, claw clamber boot things because there's supposed to be some of those footprints around here. This is another one of those claw clamber boot puzzles that just takes you barely enough time to get it right. If, what? Why is the hell is it not working? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh, well, that actually lasted a little bit longer than I thought. Oh, hey, that's good for me. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we know the drill here. We're going to take care of the other dragon now. You must be the pizza delivery boy that beat up my poor brother. You tried to eat us. I suppose you'll be wanting pizza, too. Yes, please. I ordered an anchovy deluxe. Well, tough. We've got none. I'm sure you have. Give me my pizza. Oh, hey, I don't exactly blame these guys. I mean, pizza. Pizza's like the food of the gods. So yeah, this uh, battle is pretty much the same. Uh, because we fought this guy second, though, he uh, moves a little faster, he has more health, and his shots are, like, way more accurate. So be very, very careful and fast. If 
you're lucky, you can actually uh, get all three shots done before you even uh, before you even go to this phase right here. My God, I am getting killed. Not in a good way. Ouch. God. God, hurry up, hurry up. There we go. Stop it. I don't want pizza anymore. I'll go and get a takeout instead. Hold on, you frosty fool. We've beaten both of you now, so I reckon we should get a trophy. A trophy, eh. How about this? No, he said a trophy, not a puzzle piece. Also, my god, they have huge heads and long necks. Now, which way is the fly-through, McJiggies? Okay. That takes care of that. The boss of Halfar Peaks has been destroyed. Both bosses. Now we can just focus on the rest of this level without freaking projectiles being thrown the whole time. That's again, quite honestly, the only reason you want to take care of all this stuff first. Just so you can stop those freaking ice balls and the fireballs from falling. Can I do this properly? What the? Okay, then. Oh, I have to start all the way back here? That's stupid. Here we go. This is where I was looking for. There. Now we're on the lower side of Hellfire Peaks. Ooh. What do we have here? Hey, young man! I'm Mildred Ice Cube, but I seem to have misplaced my husband, George. There was this terrible blizzard, and he was whisked off into the sky. So? Isn't it obvious? I want you to go and look for him. I have that Jinjo? My husband, George, was blown away into the sky. Don't think that you're taking this little man I have acquired either. Well, you know what? How about a little payment now, and then, uh, I'll talk about your husband later. No? Okay. Arg! Tell George his dinner is in the... Oh, poor Mildred. She's dead. Well, she shouldn't have tried to screw me over like she was doing. Jeez. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, God. I thought we were done with you. Thanks for all your help, Banjo. I don't care. I want to talk to this guy. Hello, buggy. Take a look at my new widescreen TV. It's got loads of features. I'm sure it has. It has, actually. 100 HC scanning, Dolby 5.1 surround sound, 9,999 channels, 15 scan sockets, 3 remote controls. Oh, sorry, but it's not, not got no online shopping and I'm really hungry. What do you want? A big hot fish would be great. Uh-oh. Hey. What, what was that? Wow, the fish must have swallowed a jiggy. Well, if it's not edible, I don't want it. Fair enough, Boggy. I'll add it to our collection. Be my guest. I've got stuff to watch. Why? Thank you, and...
Hello everybody, everybody. Slim Kirby here, and welcome back to Let's Play Snowman Wearing Underwear. Okay, and what do we have down here? I believe this is the kids' room. Yep, there's all the kids. Hey, this kid has Banjo-Kazooie sheets. Not you two, though. You two are lame. But yeah, there's not really anything else to do with them. This is quite literally the only thing we had to do with Boggy's house. So, we're done. God, and after he had such a big role in the first game, Pocky's role in this game is just, like, so unmemorable. Okay, what do we have? We have... Oh, boy. Mumbo Switch. Okay, we have another warp pad. Have some more notes too. Let's go ahead and take care of them. Uh, we have all the notes on the ice side now. All I have to do is find the treble club for this world. Which we will do in time. There's Wumba's wigwam. She has a nice little fire right outside, though, which is kind of cool. Also, there's the, uh, Globo. I think we're gonna have to do some Mumbo action now. We've seen two Mumbo paths, and that seems to be the logical next step in our adventure. First, though, let's play, uh, or let's pay Humbo a visit. Hey, Humbo, how's it going? You know, I never noticed this really nice tapestry here that we can go through for some reason. Wait a minute. Mumbo! <gasps> a secret passage. Mumbo's house. Humba, do you sneak over to Mumbo's house every now and then? You get down with the Ekum Bokum? That sounds about right. Those two appear to be enemies, but I think there's a little more there than meets the eye. So yeah, we're gonna take control of Mumbo now and start uh, wreaking some havoc. And thanks to the shortcut we made, we can now take a very generous shortcut. Mumbo, not welcome! Leave now, or be in big heap trouble! No! Mumbo, get out of pool! Oh, I wanna swim around. So yes, that's basically what happens whenever Mumbo pays Humba a visit. Yep, I guess they're not on talking terms, but... Hmm, for not being on talking terms, they do have that little shortcut there. Yeah. Sometimes I think even rivals can bring out a little attraction amongst each other. Also, hello, Mumbo Pad. Let's take care of you and let's start performing some magic. Big drop hurt lots, where am I? You dead, Mumbo used powerful shaman magic, you alive. 
Didn't need puny earthling magic. Could have used special powers instead. Spaceman ungrateful, waste Mumbo's time. Me should teach lesson. Sorry, strange friend. My special powers are low and we need your help. Our three children escaped the ship before we crashed in the lagoon. If you can find and return them to me safely, I'll bestow the earth with wondrous gifts. Mumbo light gifts, not tacky alien merchandise, though. Kids will be hiding from danger until they detect alien signal. Mumbo impressed, but Mumbo magic better. So here we uh, figure out where all the kids are located. And uh, now we have to figure out how to gather them all up, but we'll take care of that later. Because there is actually another person we can save using Mumbo's ability to play God. Mumbo, where did you learn to play God? That's probably not an ability you should have, just saying. Can I even get up here? Oh, wait. Okay, how was I supposed to see that? Well, whatever, it works. Uh, there I go, wasting time again. When the only thing wasting my time is something incredibly obvious. Hope this works. Many thanks, young sir. Why, I've been frozen in there since 1984! Mumbo thinks seeing crazy old man before, perhaps. It's quite possible. I come from a golden age where wolves were kings. The name's Saberman. Adventuring is my game. Or at least, was my game. What Cable Man doing in Pice Blood? That cursed Saberwolf chased me all the way here where I was frozen in my tracks by the Ice Dragon. I'm rather cold. Could you see your way to warming me up? Mumbo not do that, but no bear that might. Okay, well... That's a good indication of what we're supposed to do now. Unfortunately, we are not done with Mumbo yet. Uh, this is another one of those stages that has a very nasty habit of... doing something with Mumbo, switching back, and then switching back again. But you have to do this first to actually get the alien dad awake, so... It's very, very annoying, but what are you gonna do? But yeah, we'll make sure we take care of that later. Thankfully, it's not a very long walk. Okay, let's rescue some alien kids. First kid is located over here. Not too far from where the alien dad is. What's wrong with it? Beats me. You could try beak to mouth. Resuscitation. Ah, no chance. Then this is a job for a professionally qualified doctor. So yeah, we have to bring back Mung Mumbo to revive that kid. Honestly, very, very annoying. Now we have to do it that way, but... What are you gonna do? There's another kid over here. Thanks, Earthling! Okay, that one was easy. As for the third one, we'll need to actually reach a very high point on this uh, side of the mountain. Not gonna be really that easy to make it up there, but we'll get there in time. <laughs> 